Hello and welcome back to part three on the series of burst coining. You remember in uh, part two we'd set up our wallet. Um, before I carry on with uh, preparing a hard disk for mining, what I just wanted to show you was something to make it a little bit easier uh, for managing your programs that, um, that obviously you're going to use to mine burst with. So here we still see that we've got our burst client window open and what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it and I'm going to go down here in the system tray and we can see that we've got our burst client still running in the background. I'm going to right click and close that. So that's gone. Now the other thing was our Java file that we've got running which was if you remember our run.bat I'm just going to switch that off as well. I'm just doing this for neatness more than anything. Um, so let's go to where it was all installed, which is on our, in my case, it was my C drive. Burst download, burst Windows wallet master, burst coin 1.2.8. And remember, we needed to um, run our run.bat first. So I'm going to send this my desktop as a shortcut and also the burstwallet.exe I'm going to send to my desktop as a shortcut. Right, so let's run the run.bat and we see it's loaded our genesis block which is the, um, the blockchain So we should now be able to open our burst wallet. And I'm going to switch to my local wallet. Now when you reopen this wallet it will ask you for your passphrase. And if you remember we made a note of this in the previous video on a text file. There it is. So let's just copy that. and paste it in there, tick the remember box and there we are back to where we were. Right so this is the state that we're in now we have one burst coin in our account and we need to now prepare a hard disk because as you remember burst coin uses hard disk space in order to do its job so if I go back and have a look at the drives that I've got. So there's my C drive which I'm not going to use because there's hardly any space left on it. Um, but I have an E drive here which is totally empty. It's 931 gigs so it's almost a terabyte. If you've got stuff in it obviously back it up, get rid of it, take it out, save it and then you want to right click and you want to just give your drive a quick format. Hopefully it won't take too long to do a quick format. There you go, format complete. So it is our new volume E, so that's what we're going to be using. So what we do back on our wallet page is right down the bottom here we've got a little button that says write plots. And this is what we're going to use to start preparing our hard disk so that we can use it to mine burst coin. So in the drop down at the top here we're going to select our E drive and we're going to say plot this drive. If you want to know more about plots you can click here and it will take you to the forum website which tells you what a plot is and do I need to optimize it and all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. For now, I'm going to plot this drive. So also you have here that it tells you that you've got 931 gig free of the chosen drive. Do you want to fill this? Do you want to fill one gig with plots? Well, no, I don't want to do one gig. I want to do pretty much the whole drive. So you move this slider up and as you can see, the gigabytes start moving up. Now what I would recommend is that you don't go the whole distance. You've got to leave a little bit of uh, leeway space in there. 
I'm going to go for 900 gigs and also here we have how many CPU cores do you want to use well this computer has four cores now if I was to use all four then obviously that would significantly slow down my computer if I was going to use it um, to carry on working with so maybe I'd only want to choose choose two cores um, so I can carry on working on other stuff on my PC luckily for me I'm not going to be doing anything for the next 24 hours on this computer so I can happily leave it on four cores now it also wants our burst account which if you remember is this one up there in the top left hand corner so let's copy that and we'll paste that in there uh, run as admin uh, because it's faster so let's do that and then hit start plotting do you want to allow the following programs yes I do and there it goes it starts to plot so I'm gonna let it do that and I'll come back when it's finished it might take five hours it might take 12 hours it might take 24 hours and we'll resume once it's ready right our drive has now finished plotting you're probably wondering why there's nothing to show you on the screen and that's because there was quite a nasty attack on the burst coin community uh, at the time I did this video there was a, a DDoS attack uh, and basically in a nutshell it brought the whole burst coin mining uh, nation to a, a standstill until they resolved it. I on the other hand went on holiday in the meantime and came back and found this out uh, so you've probably noticed that this burst coin wallet even though it looks the same as it did before it's a slightly different version it's a newer version as you can see up here in the top right it's version 1.2.9 so I would advise um, downloading this one I'll put a link in the description uh, and it's a, a lot safer and uh, everything's back to normal thank God so uh, apologies for not being able to show you the window of the plotting that's finished but basically you'll know when it's finished um, but let me just take you through exactly what it did so if I open up my computer and if you remember we used our new volume E drive on this machine and what it does when you plot this is it creates a folder called burst and inside that folder it created one called plots and then inside that one we see our whole sort of drive plotted out to give you an idea of what each section of this means uh, if we look at the first number here that's unique to your computer um, if we go back to our burst client wallet window and I choose more information it's the actual numeric account ID so that's why it's specific so in other words you can't just take the drive out now and go and put it in another machine and and um, you know connect it to another wallet because it, it just won't work so that's what that is the next number here this very large number is what we call the starting nonce and yes I did say that it, it is nonce it's not the expression that we use for prison staff uh, in, in where they segregate inmates who are convicted of sex crimes towards children and other inmates it's not that sort of nonce um, rather uh, a nonce in information technology and indeed the uh, cryptocurrency world is basically a number generated for a specific use such as a session authentication in this context nonce stands for number used once or number once so it's where we start and this number is basically the ending nonce so in our case almost one terabyte amounted to three six seven three zero eight eight so basically if I had more space on that drive and I wanted to plot the rest of that space if we added this number to this number 
the total would give us our starting nonce for the remainder of the drive. But I can do another video explaining exactly uh, what this is all about. So for now we've plotted our drive, we are ready to start mining. Now as I mentioned before we can't start mining unless we have funds. We have one burst coin which we got from a faucet. So if I come down here and select start mining uh, as you can see it's found the plots that we've got. We got our e-drive burst plots. We now need to choose a pool in which to join to start mining. And if you drop down the box here there are a lot of preset ones already selected. Uh, let's just choose for this example pool.burstcoin.biz and then on the left here can you see it says you have to do this one time or when you want to change pools. Well this is the first time we've used a pool. I'm going to change the reward assignment. Basically what it shows here is the pool address blah 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 of pool.burstcoin.biz got copied onto your clipboard paste it into the second text box recipient burst address of pool and paste your wallet passphrase in the first text box. OK. So here I can right click and just paste and then in the top here let's go and open up our uh, passphrase we'll copy that and we'll paste that in there and submit. So basically what we're doing is we're paying our way to get onto that pool and it's costing us one burst coin. So once you see this gobbledygook come up the top here you know you've done you've done the right thing. So we can start mining. Now there are two ways to start mining. We can start mining with a CPU or we can start mining with the OpenSeer which is our graphics card. Now for this uh, example I'm just going to use the CPU but if you've got a, a decent graphics card um, mining does perform better with a decent graphics card but I'm just going to choose CPU for now. So what it does is it connects to the the pool, gives us some information at the top there, it shows my processor which is an Intel Xeon CPU uh, at 3 gigahertz and 4 cores and the RAM I've got installed is 8 gigs. When I flick back to my wallet now we can see again it's in italic style the amount that we've uh, given as a fee is one burst coin to the account of burstcoin.biz so we're waiting for confirmation of that at the moment there's uh, zero confirmations if I click back to the window of our miner we can see not a lot is going on at the moment so we have to be a little bit patient well it's been some minutes now and it would appear that uh, nothing's moving forward there's not been any confirmation of my burst coin being taken by the pool uh, it's just one of those unlucky things I guess so if what was it it was burstcoin.biz so the way to double check and I should have done this before I selected the pool is if we open up a browser window and search for pool.burstcoin.biz and see if the pool is actually up. I have a sneaky suspicion that it's not up. And as we can see, connection is timed out so that pool's not actually up. So let's go back, let's have a look and see what other pools are available in there. So pool.burstcoin.space, let's have a look at that one. Let's just make sure it's up. Yep, that one came up straight away. Now, the problem is, if we go back to our wallet, we now sort of have our only one burst coin in limbo 
Um, so I guess we wait until it either gets rejected or comes back to us because at the moment we've got no funds at all in our account balance. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to load another wallet which I do have funds on and transfer them over to this one or for speed let's just load my other wallet so hopefully if I can get there in 30 seconds I should be able to just paste my other passphrase so here is my sort of backup wallet if you like I've created two wallets and this one's got uh, an account balance of two so because it's on the same machine I can still start mining with the same drive so this time let's choose the one that we know is up which is pool.burstcoin.space so I would advise that you check out these uh, burst coin pools before you part with your with your burst coin cash or money or whatever you want to call it so again we have to click change and it's given us the address of that particular pool so I'll say OK and if you remember we had to paste that in the second box and the passphrase of the wallet that we're mining with in my case it's my secondary paste that one in there, submit it and start mining. Now oh, that's a bit better so we got some different activity going on. So let's go back to my local wallet. So what we can see in the window as before it finds that we have a, a process with four cores running at 3 gigahertz. The pool address is pool.burstcoin.space the IP address of it and there's the port at the end there. It's currently using the E drive burst plots there's one file in there and it's 896 gigs so it's nearly a terabyte we're using. And now we can just leave it to do its thing. So at the moment we found no deadlines but then again we are using um, what would be considered now quite a small capacity drive so the the larger the drive you've got or the more space you've got you'll probably find that you will be successful quicker so we can leave this ticking over now and eventually we'll earn some burst coin I hope you found this tutorial helpful thanks for watching